A flight attendant helped save a life this week after a man's heart stopped in the Edmonton International Airport. Thanks to a public defibrillator and some quick thinking, a tragedy was averted. The CBC's Briar Stewart has this story. The Edmonton Airport was crowded Wednesday. Passengers were headed through customs and flight crews were headed to their hotels for the night. That's when Guy Fournier heard a piercing alarm through the terminal. That meant someone had opened the defibrillator cabinet. It was just drop bag for go. Assess the situation. A crowd was huddled around an unconscious man. It was 73-year-old Wayne Gullis. Coincidentally, CBC had just spoken to him last year about having kidney dialysis. But now he was having a heart attack. I looked at the gentleman and he was non-responsive. And I said, I need help. We need to get him on the floor. Crews attached the pads to his chest. The AED analyzed his heart, then delivered an electric shock. Shock advised. After that, two crew members, one from WestJet and one from United, began CPR. And I administered two breaths. Once the two breaths went in, he started to breathe and gasp for air. Paramedics arrived and took him to the hospital, where he's in stable condition. His family calls him a walking miracle. I just wanted to express our family's gratitude. We got an early Christmas present, and we're so very grateful. Fournier says as a flight attendant, he had received first aid training, but this was the first time he had to use a defibrillator. Anybody could have used it. However, for example, his wife opened up the cabinet just to set off an alarm, but she didn't grab it to try to use it because it's intimidating, but it shouldn't be. And he hopes what happened on Wednesday proves that with the right equipment, it can be easy to save a life. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.